Hi, babe. How are you? Be right back. Hold on. so wrong the first time. Hi Iris, how are you? Hey Beatrice, Purple Butterfly. Hey Miss Patricia. Hey the other Patricia. Hey Miss Annie. Hey Ellen. Hey Shireni. My first cooking live with you. Hey Colleen. Okay guys, so my husband's playing the game. So if you guys can't hear me, I do apologize in advance. Um, however, hey Miss Della, hey Beverly, um, this is my first time actually um, doing something a little scratch. Yes, we are doing good. I hope your family stands safe as well. Hand washing. Um, so I'm really, hey Shanetta, girl, I know, just sound a little quick. So y'all, I'm. This is my first time actually making. Hey Gwen, um, fettuccine Alfredo, the sauce from scratch. I don't know why I was inspired today to do this, but I decided to do it. And my husband is like, "Baby, you never done that before. Like, you know, um, why don't you just stick to the Bertoli, Bertoli Alfredo sauce?" Hey Miss Sick Humor. Hey Miss Vicky. So I was like, nah, I want to try a little something different. So, you know Shanetta him. He was like, so if I foobob this meal or foobob my sauce, let me just say that. If I mess up my sauce, hey Danielle, exactly Shanetta, you better just eat it. But if I mess up my sauce, I do have backup sauce, okay? So, I have my Bertoli. Alfredo sauce. This is in the jar. Okay, so this is the backup. So what I did, I googled um, what is it? Uh, Olive Garden, and I wanted to know how they made their Alfredo sauce. So they had their recipe online, and um, I just wrote down the ingredients. Hey, Miss Dondi. Oh, you might be thirsty. Okay, hold on, Bubba. Um, the watches are really good. Hold on, y'all. But yeah, so. I um, wrote down the ingredients, went to the store and got some stuff. So, the ingredients that I do have, um, I have my heavy cream, I have my butter, I have my Parmesan cheese, and I have garlic. They, it also calls for a half a cup of milk. I do have that. Actually, you're going to do a great job. Gonna, thank you, Ilya, thank you. Um... And in my Alfredo, I have some Tyson Grill Ready uh, chicken breast strips. So I'm gonna saute these in the in the um, in my pan. So I'm gonna saute these, and then I also have shrimp. My husband loves the chicken and shrimp. So I'm gonna saute the shrimp as well. And then for um, vegetables, I have broccoli uh, florets that I'm going to cook as well. So. That is what I am cooking for dinner. So we're having fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, and the pasta. Uh, they were out of the Alfredo pasta, so I just bought the penne pasta. So that's what we're gonna use for tonight. So right now my pasta is currently boiling on the stove. It is getting good. I'm getting ready to start sauteing my chicken breast strips. And then once I do that, I will saute the um, shrimp and I will work on my sauce. Yes, so I'm super excited. I'm super nervous. Um, it looks like it's only a 10 minute prep time and a 10 minute cooking time. So it's not a long process as far as the Alfredo sauce, but 
for something so quick you can easily mess it up so I may not talk to you guys or read your comments because we're gonna be so focused on this sauce I don't want to screw it up so y'all bear with me and I will show you the finished product when I'm done um, I'm struggling with trying to open up these sippy cups for my son <laughs> so that's what I'm doing right now When in doubt, grab a knife. Oh, they make this material so strong. Oh, <laughs> I am struggling, <laughs> struggling for real. Oh, wait, wait. Almost got it. Oh, whoo. Child, I don't broke a sweat. to get pick up some of this stuff uh -huh. um i was looking for some toilet tissue of course they're still all out at the stores i was also looking for more lysol um right now i still have some lysol wipes left so we've been just cleaning everything but i did find this clorox centiva disinfecting multi-surface cleaner so this is all they had on the shelf um, I did look at the ingredients to see what it kills, and it kills the human coronavirus, so I was okay with that, um, and it tells you how many inches, you know, turn the nozzle to on, it spray 68 inches, you gotta wait 30 seconds, let it sit, 10, all of this kind of stuff, you know, for it to do its job, so I thought this was cool, and it's a Pacific Breeze and Coconut, um, scent, apparently, I don't know, but... It kills 99.9% of viruses and bacteria. So, ooh, this I pay probably about almost $5 for this. Maybe a little less. I had to look at my receipt, though. So, I bought this. Um, so that way, like, their toys, his high chair, um, the refrigerator doors, the trash can, all that kind of stuff I've been using my wipes with, which sometimes it can take multiple wipes to do. So I'm just going to start using this, and I have me several different microfiber washcloths or dishcloths that I can use um, you know for cleaning so I did order some of those and I ordered those those from Amazon my microfiber uh, cloths so and those were pretty reasonable like six bucks for like a pack of ten or something the kids are fighting y'all hold on <laughs> hey 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 okay go 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 sit down here, AJ, you want something to drink? I, I know, I know. Okay, Lord Jesus. Y'all, please forgive my husband right now. <laughs> he is upset. So I had to give AJ situated. Okay, so I have my penne pasta still boiling on the stove. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Oops, on my grilled and ready chicken breasts. So I'm gonna toss these in the pan. They come already seasoned, so I really don't have to do too much to them. 
but I'm just gonna cook them. Um, it takes about three to five minutes on warm. I'm not gonna put all of this, maybe half of the bag. Um, I'm gonna pour in here and got, oh y'all, if y'all can smell it, it smells so good. So apparently it's seasoned in uh, boneless skinless with rib meat seasoned. Oh, it smells so good. Hi, Miss Rania. So I'm gonna just dump a few in here. Cause I still have to think about when I put all of this together, I don't want to overcrowd my pot because I still have to think about the um, the pasta and then the shrimp have to go in here as well. So, and the one thing I like about that bag, it comes with a little Ziploc la uh, latch to it so I can just put it back together and just throw it back in the freezer. You don't have to put it in a freezer bag and all that. I mean, you can if you want to, uh, but I do have to put freezer bags. Alrighty, so I'm gonna spread these babies out in my pan. Just go ahead and cook these a little bit. It's about three to five minutes. Now, I like to put my timer on literally everything. <laughs> so, I just put it on five minutes because I will forget. So, like, it's, it's that serious. I have to put my birth control on the timer so that I'll forget to take it. And then it'll be another one and I can't do that. So, my penne pasta is looking really good, almost there, so, I am, oh, thank you, Tanisha, hey, Tanisha, hey, Tiffany, okay, I'm going back, I think Clorox product, products is better than Lysol, really, Miss Vicky? go to Home Depot, AJ, I miss you, hey, hey, Miss Debbie, hey, Elena, girl, just going back and catching up oh thank you Tanisha so I'm trying y'all I y'all know me I don't be in the kitchen like that my husband cooks more than I do I don't know but I wanted to do something different you know like I'm like at that stage in my life I'm about to be 30 in less than a week and or in a week and it's like I don't know like I want to make something different. He wanted lobster tails, but he wanted something that we all can eat. You know, something we don't have to make for the kids, extra special and stuff. So maybe one special date night, me and him, I'll cook him some lobster tails or something. So, yes. So I, I do know that. So that's why I really wanted to try the homemade sauce. Hey, Regina. So, um, because I feel like I can make it. Like, all you doing is getting the ingredients together, dumping it together, cooking it, stirring it, make sure they ain't sticking and all that kind of stuff. How hard could it be? <laughs> I say that and then I mess it up, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I think my noodles are about done. I'm gonna add just a little bit of crab oil seasoning. I am. I am. I just didn't want the 
that seed, I didn't want to put too much seasoning on the chicken because I knew it was already seasoned. So I'm going to take that out and then I'm going to add the covered and onions and oil and then add the shrimp to that. So I'm going to put the Louisiana seed and maybe that or seasoning on there or whatever. Um, I need, I'm glad you came here. I need the olive oil. What's the, the shrimp, baby? So the shrimp won't stick to the pan. They on the live. You ain't you just walk right in the kitchen and say, hey. <laughs> Y'all, this chicken smells so good. All right, I'm about to dump these um, noodles. They are hot and ready. Let me get my strainer. I'm gonna chop some of this meat up so the strips aren't so big. So how's everybody doing protecting themselves, social distancing? All of that stuff. Oh, my five minutes are up on this. It smells so good. Now I'm getting ready to add my shrimp in here. Okay. So I'm going to drop my meat in here. Now, how I'm going to season my shrimp, y'all, it might be a little weird, I don't know. But I have some Zatarain's crawfish and shrimp crab boil seasoning. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on here. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour oops, a little bit in my hand. And then I just sprinkle over my shrimp. And it's so good. I love it. Like me and my husband, we both love it like this. I know it's a little unorthodox, but here we go. Do away with the excess seasoning. Gotta wash my hands. All right, let me dump this.
I'm going to put a little pepper. Well, he wanted some cayenne pepper. Where is it? Me to make a sauce. Everything else is pretty much done. It just has to go together now. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, baby. Don't put, Don't put too much what? <laughs> Babe, I didn't see any kind yet. I just saw this. I just saw this. Okay, y'all, I'm missing some comments. Let's see. Okay. You coming over, Iris? Okay. Thank you, Miss Bobby. Hey, Miss. Okay. Yes, Miss Ashley. I've been in the house working out every day at home, eating healthy and staying safe. I get up, but I'm getting grocery or household items. I disinfect my house from top to bottom. I have OCD. Oh, wow. Well, you should be fine, honey. Let's see. Hi, Carissa. Happy Blessed Tuesday. Social distancing, meditation, praying, reading the Bible, and trying not to overeat. Exactly, Miss Rania. Hi, Miss Shirley Parker. How are you? Hi, Miss Brenda McDaniel. So nosy. Hey, Tony. Oh, Tony, Tony. Bro. I know. You see him. <laughs> I like different food. I just don't cook. Okay. I am making, um, hey Rosie. I am making um, chicken and shrimp alfredo with broccoli. So, with a side of broccoli. So that's what I'm doing. I'm sauteing my shrimp right now. They're about done. And then I've already boiled my panay noodles and I've already um, cooked my, uh, or sauteed my uh, chicken breast strips. Um, and they already came seasoned or whatever so now i'm about to start on my scratch made from scratch alfredo sauce <laughs> i'm nervous <laughs> i was nervous oh i need to get a little saucepan hold on y'all All 
shrimp trap. I think you about to done. Okay guys, so I'm back. So I have it, the Alfredo sauce <laughs> instruction. <laughs> so, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So alright. So I got my butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my butter. Alright, I'm back. Okay, so now we're gonna put in our butter. Alright, I'm doing a tablespoon of butter. Y'all, I'm so nervous. But I think I got it. <laughs>
garlic. I got to saute that together. going in. that parmesan cheese melts good and I'm going to salt and pepper to taste Okay, 
So once my sauce starts to simmer, I guess I remove it from the heat. Go from there. by the simmer. Alright, so I'm going to put some of this stuff up. Nervous, y'all. So now my husband needs to come 
taste this Alfredo sauce. I'm nervous. I don't know. Tony! Baby! Can you come taste it? Come taste it. <laughs> Yes, honey. That's how it's supposed to be. I feel like I'm saying, what are you talking about? You taste it? No, I want you to taste it. You know, I gotta taste it. <laughs> it's hot now. It's very hot. Here, you, you taste it. Let me hold it. Thank you, please. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I told you it's hot. <laughs> I need to add a little more salt, pepper. That's all I put in there. <laughs> what, what did they say? It tastes okay. I just don't know if it's creamy enough. Creamy enough? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I mean by like the kidney. Okay, so then I may need, you want me to add a little bit more flour? Because all I did was a tablespoon of flour. Do I need to add another tablespoon of flour? I don't, I, I don't know. Cause it's like it probably depends on the uh, noodles too. Yeah, right. When you put the noodles in, exactly. The sauce and the noodles, you might not. Right. You might think that, um, but do I need to add any salt, pepper? No, nah, I think it's okay. So I did good. Ah, Y'all did good. <laughs> now I'm about to put everything together. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing to mommy? Look at your face. Oh! <laughs> Y'all saw him. He's a boob man, okay? He's a breastfed baby. Super excited. Oh, son, you heavy. What? You are not getting my foot scrubber. Get out of here. Love you, Mercy. Thank you, Tanisha. <laughs> okay, so you get out. He 
can choose to mix the broccoli with it, however you want to do it. But I did the broccoli to the side, so it's up to him. So I'm just mixing it all together now, guys. Sauce looks good in here with the penne pasta. The shrimp looks good. So I'm gonna put this on low. Because everything's already cooked. Broccoli start to smell good. product everything is in the pot I am the broccoli is almost done um, I know my husband's ready to eat I'm starving and my kids are ready to eat so hopefully probably in the next 10 15 minutes we can go ahead and start eating dinner um, I know it's kind of late I usually try to like to have them in bed and stuff by 8 8 30 but I had to run to the store and get the ingredients and all of that so anyway put the recipe for the sauce below oh sure absolutely I will um let's see how can I do that uh okay so let me oh it's not gonna allow me to type it no oh you know what let me go my husband's phone oh he got the phone okay so what I'll do when I end the live I'll make sure I put in the description there we go I put it in the description the recipe um it was pretty quick and easy it was so stressful for me at first because i didn't know what i was doing but i was like lord all i'm gonna do is try and i know you're gonna feel in the rest and we can get it done so thank you guys all 58 of you and thank you for the 38 thumbs up on this video um thank you for your support your encouragement uh, before i go i just want to see if i miss any comments anyone come in okay let's see um, <laughs> I did, Mercy. Uh, sequel operator pasta, yes, Miss Rania. Uh, it will thicken as it, yes, it will. Um, I remember calling my mother for help on recipes. There is no internet, so much easier now. Yes, Elena, it is. Thank you guys for the love of my little family. Just a little family of four. Oh, the food, yes so sorry thank you for reminding me so this is what the alfredo looks like oh let me turn the darn camera around y'all hold on so this is what the alfredo looks like so far okay i just have it on low right now but that's what it looks like it's the chicken and the shrimp now i'm just going to keep stirring it up but that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's really creamy. The sauce is perfect. Just the right amount. 
I don't like my pasta too soupy. So, you know, if you guys like it really soupy and you want it covered and, you know, you can, um, you're more than welcome to double your portions. But, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, Shanetta, tell my sin her a plate, please. <laughs> Come through, Nana, can get you a plate. But, anyways, so, babe, do you have any words to say? <laughs> He's not really the camera kind of person. Anyways, um, hey, Kamika, I'm actually getting ready to log off, girl. So, y'all catch the rewind. Um, I love you guys to pieces. Let me go tend to these kids. I know my husband's about to go crazy. So, I'll talk to you guys another time. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I appreciate it. Love. Bye, y'all.